Is your computer acting strange? Do you suspect it's been infected with malware? Let's look at how it got malware, how to get rid of it, and how to protect your computer from getting infected again. But first, what is malware? Malware is malicious software that infects electronic devices. It allows a third party to secretly conduct harmful actions against a computer, server, or network. When this happens, your computer may not perform like it used to. Instead, it may slow down or overheat. An app or program may appear that you don't remember downloading. And programs don't function properly or crash. But how did this happen, you may ask? Malware infects your computer through three different routes. One way is through removable media, like a flash drive or external hard drive. If you insert an infected one into your computer, you've now got malware. Because you can't tell if removable media is infected, it's a safe practice to never connect one from friends, family, or coworkers into your computer. Another way for your computer to become infected is through a download from the internet. Downloads include software, apps, music, movies, and free games. To prevent this, only download from trusted sources. Never download pirated files or from suspicious websites and pop-ups. The final way your computer risks becoming infected with malware is if you click on a malicious link or open an attachment in a spam email. A good rule of thumb is if you don't know the sender or the sender's email address looks strange, mark it as spam and delete it. If your PC has malware, here's how to get rid of it. Check out Kaspersky's products. Links in descriptions. Change all passwords in case they were compromised by malware. Update your software, browser, and operating system. If you think your Mac has malware, here's how to remove it. Click on the Activity Monitor app in Launchpad. Look for known Mac malware, such as Mac Defender, Mac Protector, or Mac Security. If you find one of those, click Quit Process before quitting the Activity Monitor. Go to the Applications folder and drag the file into your trash. Empty the trash folder afterward to permanently delete the malware. Make sure your software and apps are up to date. There are several different types of malware you may encounter if you aren't careful. Keyloggers. These tools record keystrokes. Cybercriminals use them to gather passwords, credit card numbers, and financial account information. Worms. These are malicious programs that self-replicate on computers and networks. Trojans are also malicious programs. They're designed to delete, copy, block, or modify data. Ransomware encrypts operating systems or files. Cybercriminals then demand a ransom to get them back. Crypto malware requires a unique key to decrypt the stolen files. Logic Bomb. This is a code within software that sets off a malicious function if specified conditions aren't met. Ads. These are the annoying pop-up ads that appear on devices. When clicked on, they can open the door to malware. In the same way, spyware is installed on your device after opening an infected email or through a software bundle without user consent for malicious purposes. Rootkits and bootkits. These give cybercriminals unlimited access to all parts of a computer to steal personal data and financial information, install malware, or use computers in a bootnet. They are hard to identify and remove. Now that you've gotten rid of the malware, how can you protect yourself from another infection? Check out Kaspersky's products. Links in descriptions. Only download apps and software from trusted sites. Research apps and software by reading user reviews and developer descriptions. Check out how many downloads an app has. The more, the better. Check what permissions it asks for to see if they make sense. Keep software, apps, and your operating system updated. Use a secure VPN connection for public Wi-Fi, like Kaspersky Secure Connection. Protect your computer and your peace of mind.